kidding. Two blocks <laughs> um, is what we need, as always. I think that's about it. Um, say hello to my roommates, Neha and Sarah. Neha, Sarah. Um, <laughs> get started. Uh, to get started, we will, we will seat. We will come to a seat. Sit in the seat. And close your eyes. <laughs> so any kind of seat that you want, you could be sitting up on a block, you could be cross-legged kneeling. And you can do really whatever you want with your hands. I will suggest for this morning, if you feel like you need a little bit more energy, you can flip your palms face up, resting your hands on your legs. If you feel like you're Maybe you've had too much caffeine already, or you're just kind of buzzing around, you need a little less energy, a little bit more grounding, you'll flip your palms face down. And try to sit a little bit taller, so lengthen the tailbone down. And as you lengthen the low back, think of lifting the center of your chest. And then relaxing the shoulders. Tilting your chin just slightly down. Breathing a little bit deeper. Just noticing whatever it is that is coming up for you as you sit in stillness. Rather than Attaching yourself to whatever it is you're feeling, can you observe the feelings, the thoughts? And can you maybe even have compassion for yourself for whatever that may be? Knowing that we're living in unprecedented times, so anything difficult, challenging that might be arising for you internally just kind of comes with the territory. So if there's something that you're struggling with, it's not only is it okay, but probably most of us are on a similar page. Bring your hands together at the center of your heart and take a big deep breath in through your nose and let it go out your mouth. Take another deep, big deep breath in, all the way in, hold at the top, sip in a little bit more air, fill up as much as you can, but relax your shoulders and exhale, let it go. Release your hands, gently open your eyes, but keep a soft gaze down to the floor, uncross your ankles and come forwards into a tabletop. You can set the block aside if you're using one. Um, if you are listening to the playlist along with me, you'll want to start it now. As we start moving through cat-cow, just flexing and arching the spine. Starting to move through the breath. Come back to a neutral spine in your tabletop. 
Dig your belly, open your chest for cow pose. Breath in. And then as you round for cat, pull the right knee into your chest. On your inhale, stretch the right leg straight back. Exhale again, pull the knee and round the spine. Inhale, right leg goes back. And exhale, round, pull it in. Inhale, straighten the right leg. This time, stay here. Scoop the low belly up and in. See if you can tilt the tailbone down. And then reach the left arm forwards, opposite arm. Palm faces in. You're using your core to keep you steady here. Take a breath in. Breath out, elbow to knee, round. Tap your elbow and your knee together. And then place the left hand down, step the right foot forward. Lengthen your stance, so tuck the left toes, pull the left knee back a little bit more. And then take an inhale here, look forwards. Exhale, lengthen the right leg, shift your hips back. Two more, inhale. And exhale. Bend the right knee. And lengthen. This time, inhale for a runner's lunge, so come forwards, lift the left knee up. And then on your exhale, you twist, right arm straight up, left hand plants. We're gonna reach up a little bit higher with your right hand, draw some weight out of the left wrist. Reach your right hand towards the back of the room, circle it down towards the floor, up and over your ear back one more time. And then plant the palms, step back, downward facing dog. Shift forwards, high plank. Pushing the ground away, lower all the way down to your belly. Untuck your toes, tighten your fingertips on the floor. So off of your mat, hands are pretty wide. Inhale up, baby cobra pose, wide cobra pose. Right shoulder taps towards the mat, look to the left. Inhale through center, left shoulder dips. Inhale, reach the heart forwards. Exhale, lower the chest, hands under your shoulders, push back child's pose. Hips sink back to your heels, take a breath in. Cat pose, shift your hips forwards, round the spine. Inhale, belly dips, heart opens. This time as you round into cat, pull the left knee in. Left leg goes straight back, heart goes forwards. And exhale, round. Again, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, reach it straight out. Stay here on your exhale, reach the right hand forwards. Lift the belly button up, push the left heel up towards the ceiling, but keep the low back long. Breath is steady. Take a breath in. Breath out, elbow to knee. Right hand down, left foot steps through. Pull the right knee back a little bit more. Take a look forwards, inhale. Exhale, lengthen the left leg. Bend the left knee, inhale. And send it back. One more breath in. And breath out. Breath in, come forwards, runner's lunge, lift the right knee. And then twist, left arm straight up. Shrug the right shoulder down and away from your ear. Maybe look up at the left hand. Suit the left hand all the way back, circle it down outside the knee, and then up and around the ear. One more. And then take the left hand down, step back, downward facing dog, trying to drag that left foot. Shift forwards, high plank, and then resist the floor, lower all the way. Untuck your toes, wide fingertips, elbows point up, inhale, heart reaches forwards, left shoulder taps. Inhale, lift. Right shoulder. Inhale through center. Exhale, heart comes down. Hands under your shoulders. Push back, child's pose. Hips to heels. One breath in here. Round, push forwards, right into cat. Inhale for cow. We're going to run through this again. Exhale, right knee in. Right leg goes back. Inhale. Exhale, knee in. Again, inhale. Last time, exhale, right knee in. 
Straighten the right leg, but lengthen the spine. Left hand reaches forwards. This time, bend the right knee. Hug the heel in so you're feeling a hamstring. And then reach the left arm back. Grab a hold of the right ankle. Once you got it, kick into your hand. Let it open the left shoulder. Release the right leg. Left hand back, forwards, breath in. Knee to elbow. Right foot steps forwards. Move the left knee back as much as you need to. Take an inhale. Exhale, shift back, lengthen the right leg. Two more, inhale. And exhale. Bend the right knee. And send it back. Runner's lunge, pick up the left knee, breath in. Twist, right arm out, breath up. Reach the right hand back, circle it down, outside the knee, up and back one more time. And then right hand down without dragging the right foot, step back, down dog. High plank, shift forwards, firm up the belly, lower all the way down. Untuck the toes, fingertips 10, inhale, heart forwards, right shoulder taps. Inhale, lift, left shoulder. Inhale, and exhale, lower down, press into your hands, push back child's pose. Breath in, cat pose round. Inhale, belly dips. Last round, left knee into your chest. Shoot the left leg back, pull it in. Inhale to reach. Exhale, knee in, round the spine. Last one, inhale, and exhale. Send it back, inhale, keep the spine long, reach the right hand forwards. Point the left toes straight down, and then bend the left knee. Reach the right hand up and back, grab a hold of the foot. It's like a quad stretch, but you're kicking into the hand, or kind of like a twisted bow pose. Without slingshotting, slowly re release. Right hand forwards, left hand back. Inhale. Exhale, elbow to knee. Right hand down, step the left foot through. Breath in. Lengthen the left leg. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Inhale. And send the hips back. Inhale is runner's lunge, lift the right knee up. Exhale is your twist, left arm straight up. Circle straight back, forwards, down, up and back one more time. Get into that left shoulder. Push the left hand down. See if you can step back without dragging the left foot. Shift forward to high plank. And lower down into your belly. Untuck the toes, tenth of fingers. Inhale, reach the chest forwards. Lower the left shoulder towards the mat. Inhale through center. Right shoulder. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower, hands under your shoulders. Push back, childs. Take a breath in once you land. Breath out to cat pose round the spine. Cow, dip the belly, inhale. This time, just round into cat. And then tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Bell your heels if you'd like. So your hips, whatever it is you like to do. This is the first time we've been in down dog within more than a breath today. If you were here in class on Tuesday or Thursday, this flow will be familiar to you. Reach the right leg up and back, straight up and back on your breath in. And then bend the knee, open the hip. Point through the right toes, lift the right knee up a little bit higher. Take an inhale. <clears throat> Exhale, knee into your nose. <clears throat> Scoop the knee up and then lift the hips higher. Listen, on your breath in, you'll lower the knee to hover right off the floor. And then exhale, lift the knee up and in. Two more, inhale to hover. Exhale, lift. Lower the knee to hover and then let it come all the way down to the floor. Spin the right shin out to the right, left heel down, supported side plank, your left arm will reach straight up. Keep your arms reaching open, lift up to stand on your shin, 
And then like you're reversing it, left hand to left thigh, right arm over your ear. And then come back down, right hand down, left arm up. But this time it's a supported half moon, so you pick up the left leg and you push the outer or the, yeah, the foot up towards the ceiling and you'll feel this outer left hip engage. Keep the foot flexed. Left arm over your ear, inhale. Exhale, spin to face the floor, tap the left toes down and spin the right shin in. Push your hands down, take a breath in. Knee to nose is your breath out. Inhale, right leg up and back. Bend the right knee, open the hip. Take a breath in. Breath out, right knee, right tricep. Tap it, and then move it to the left tricep, and then let the left knee come down. So same thing, spin the right shin in, spin the left heel down, reach the left arm up. So we're in a pretty, uh, a wider supported side plank. This time you sit all the way down to your hip. As you sit down, the right shin will kind of get out of the way. And we're in this seated tree pose shape. So left leg is straight, right knee is bent. Side bend, take your left hand to your left foot, reach the right arm over your ear. Come back up to seated. We're gonna switch legs. So right leg straightens, left leg bends. Take your left hand really close to the left hip. Right arm reaches up. Push into the left hand, push the hips forwards. So it's like a supported back bend, reach the right arm over your ear. Maybe you look at the right arm and then take the hips down. We're gonna switch the legs again. So left leg straightens, right knee bends. Right hand pretty close to the hip. Left arm reaches over your ear, push the hips forwards and take the left hand all the way down. Tuck the left toes, lift the right knee up and back. Step the right foot through. You're in a runner's lunge, you might want blocks under your hands. Take an inhale. Lengthen the right leg on your exhale. Two more, bend the right knee. And send it back. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Runner's lunge, take a breath in. This time step forwards to your forward fold. You could pedal the knees, you could take a rag doll, maybe wiggle a little bit. Release your hands and round your way up to standing. Take it slow. Once you come to the top, inhale, both arms rise. Exhale, cactus the arms, bend the elbows, lift the chest, almost lean back as your heart reaches forwards and then interlace your hands at the base of the spine. Reach the heart up, shoulders go down, inhale. Exhale, hinge at the waist, fold forwards. Keep a soft bend in the knees. Lift your shoulders up and away from the floor. Take an inhale. Exhale, release the hands. Step your left foot back, breath in. Downward facing dog, trying to drag that right foot. Shift forwards, high plank. Right into chaturanga, lower halfway. Upward facing heart reaches through, downward facing hips up and back. Left leg lifts, inhale, bend the knee, open the hip. Point through the left toes, see if you can bring more length on the left side of your body, but don't compromise the right side. So try to let the right shoulder sink. Take a breath in, breath out, knee into your nose, scoop it up and in. Inhale, hover the right knee, lower it. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale to hover, exhale to lift, inhale to hover, exhale just tap the knee down, spin the left shin out, right heel comes down, right arm rises, you're gonna, sorry, supported side plank. Press the outside of the right foot into the floor, and then keeping your arms open, lift up. Reverse it, right hand to right thigh, left arm over the ear, and then circle the left hand down to the mat, right arm straight up. This time, lift the right foot. Flex the right foot. Push the right leg up towards the ceiling. Feel that outer hip, the glute engage. Right arm over the ear. Inhale. Exhale, spin the face to the floor. Right toes tap. Left shin spins in. Push into your hands. Take a breath in. Breath out, knee into your nose. Lift. Inhale, go up and back. Exhale, bend the knee. Open your hip. Inhale. Exhale, left knee, left tricep. Try to tap it. And then switch it to the right tricep. 
And then you lower the left knee down. Same thing, spin the left shin in, right heel down, right arm rises. Lower your hips all the way down. Your right leg is straight. Left foot is inside the right leg. Grab the right foot, left arm over your ear, side bend. Come back up, we're switching legs. So left leg straightens, right knee bends. Right hand is pretty close into this right hip. Reach the right arm up, push into your hand, press the hips forwards, and then maybe up and back as you look at that left hand. Let the hips lower. Switching legs again, right leg straightens, left knee bends. Left hand is close to the hip, right arm reaches, press yourself up. And then right arm over your ear, tuck the right toes, left leg goes up and back. Left foot steps forwards, runner's lunge. Inhale. Three times, exhale, we lengthen the right leg. Again, breath in. And breath out. Runner's lunge. Hips up and back. Bend the left knee. Step forwards, forward fold. Hang out here for a couple of breaths. Do your thing, maybe you find some stillness, maybe you wiggle a little. Wherever you are, just try to let the head hang. And then you'll slowly start to round your way up to standing, maybe you bob a little along the way. And then the arms rise at the top. Cactus the arms, lift the chest. Catch the interlace, opposite interlace, opposite thumb on top. Reach the heart open, inhale. Hinge at the waist, softening the knees as you come down. Try to lift the very fronts of your shoulders away from the floor. So bringing your shoulder blades together a little bit more. One more breath in. And release your hands down. Step the right foot back. Inhale. Push into your hands. Lift the hips as you send the left leg back. Down, down. High plank. Chaturanga. Keep the elbows hugging in. Upward facing. And downward facing. So we'll run through that again with a few changes, a few add-ons to make it a little bit harder if you're interested. Right leg lifts, the right knee bends, open the hip, breath in, breath out, knee into your nose. Hover the knee, inhale, look forwards, exhale, round, chin to chest. Inhale to hover, exhale, scoop up and in. Inhale, hover. Exhale, tap the knee down, spin the right shin out, left heel down, left arm rises. Lift yourself up using the left hand and then reverse it, right arm over your ear. And then take the right hand back down, left arm up, left leg up. This time bend the left knee, pull the heel in and then grab a hold of the left ankle. Kick into that hand, let it open the left shoulder, let it open the left hip. Without slingshotting it, release it. So slowly left leg goes back, left arm up, left arm over your ear, left hand down, tap the left toes, spin yourself forwards. Plant your palms, inhale. Elbow, or excuse me, knee to nose, pull the knee in. Go up and back, inhale, and bend the knee, open the hip. Inhale here, right knee, right tricep, tap it. Switch to the left. Switch to the right, to the left, back to the right, <laughs> to the left. This time, straighten the right leg, shoot it to the left. Or you tap the knee down like we did before. Spin the left heel down, left arm up. So you're going to fall on triangle. Try to lift the hips up higher. Take a breath in. Breath out, lower the hips all the way down. Side bend, left hand, left foot, right arm over the ear. And come back up to your seat, left hand pretty close to your hip. So you either keep the leg straight this time, or like we did before, you bend the left knee. Push into the left hand, lift the hips, right arm goes over your ear. And hips come down. Right hand outside the right hip, you either stay here or you bend the right knee like we did before. Left arm over the ear, we're coming back to a fallen triangle. Push your hands down, lift the hips up. Keep both hip hands down though. 
So fall and triangle with hands down means it's an IT band stretch. Lift the hips up higher, push them back even more. Just kind of marinate in this outer hip stretch. And then you'll pull the right knee into the chest, sweep it up and back. And you'll step it forwards. Runner's lunge. Take a breath in. And breath out, lengthen. Two more, inhale. And exhale. Breath in. And breath out. Breath in, look forwards. Set forwards, forward fold. This time, flat back, inhale. Exhale, fold. Stand up, arms rise. Chair pose, send your hips back. Take a breath in, cactus the arms, let the shoulders open, catch the interlace. Inhale, heart forwards. Exhale, fold forwards. You can straighten your legs, but keep them a little bit bent. One more inhale, and exhale, hands to the floor. Left foot steps, inhale, runner's lunge, downward facing. High plank, shift forwards. Chaturanga, lower halfway. Up dog, inhale. And downward facing dog. One more round, we'll get a break after this. Left leg lifts. Bend the knee open. Inhaling. Knee to nose, exhale. Lower it, hover it. Pull it up and in. Inhale to lower. Exhale, scoop it up. Inhale and tap the knee down, exhale. Left shin spins out, right heel down, right arm rises. Reaching with the right arm, lift yourself up. Reverse it, right hand to right leg, left arm over your ear. And then left hand back to the mat under your shoulder. Right arm rises, right leg rises, supported half moon. This time bend the knee, pull the heel in, grab a hold of the ankle. Once you've got the foot, you kick into it, let it open the right shoulder, let it open the right hip. Slowly without slingshotting, release it. Right leg back, right arm over the ear. Spin back to face the floor as you tap the right toes down. Left foot spins in. Push your hands down, take a breath in. Knee to nose, breath up. Left leg up, breath in. Open the hip. Inhale, left knee, left tricep. Move it to the right, to the left. Keep looking forwards, to the right. One more to the left. Last one to the right. Straighten that left leg, shoot it out, or the knee taps. Right arm rises, fall in triangle. Inhale, exhale, hips come down. Right hand to right foot, left arm over your ear, side bend. You come back to your seat. Take your right hand behind you. Left arm lifts up. Push into your hips, or push into your other hand. Lift the hips forwards. And let the hips come down. We've got to come forward. So left hand down. Right arm sweeps up and over the ears. You push into the left hand. Lift the hips. Keep both hands down for a moment. Keep the left leg straight for a moment. It band stretch. Let, let the hips lift. Let them push a little a little bit further back, and then slowly release the left foot, send it back. Step it forwards, runner's lunge. Inhaling, and exhaling. Runner's lunge, and lengthen the left leg. Bend the left knee, and last time shift it back. Look forwards, inhale, step forwards, exhale. Flat back, forward fold. Stand up, arms rise. Exhale, chair pose. Inhaling, cactus the arms. Interlace the fingers opposite thumb on top, if you can remember, lift the chest, bow forwards. One, inhale, lift the shoulders up and away from the ears. And exhale, release your hands down. Right foot steps back. Push into your hands, downward facing dog. Shift forwards, plank pose. 
Chaturanga lower halfway. Upward facing and downward facing dog. Big breath in through the nose. Big breath out the mouth. Tap your knees down, find a child's pose. If your wrists or your shoulders are tired, you can always reach your hands back towards your heels. We'll take a few breaths here. Catch your breath, let the breath slow. Grab some water if you have it yet. And we'll continue in just a second. So the second sequence today that we will repeat. So the idea is that the first time we do it, well, I don't want to say it's easy, but it's a little bit easier than the second time. So the second time we add on, you can always skip any add-ons that I offer and just do it the way we did it the first time or also add on your own modifications as you see fit. So let's come to downward facing dog. Sweep your right leg up and back on your breath in. Bend your knee, open the hip. Inhale, knee to nose, just one time on your exhale. Push the ground away, lift your hips higher. Straighten the right leg, straight up and back. Shift forwards, keep the right leg up, maybe. And then side plank, come onto your left hand, heels to the left, right arm rises. So there's lots of options, the right leg can be lifted. You could also take the side plank variation with the left knee down, like we did before. Reach your right arm over your ear. Super slowly, step the right foot through, take the right hand down, you're in a runner's lunge. Left arm peels you up and open to warrior two. And then take your right elbow to your right thigh, left arm over your ear, leaning back. Maybe there's a half bind today, left hand behind the low back. Try not to let the left shoulder sneak up to your ear. Try to lower it down away and lift the chest higher. You might slide your right hand to the floor to a block. That's optional. Re release the bind, reverse it, straighten the right leg, go up and back. And then triangle pose. You might shorten your stance, bringing the left foot in. Lengthen the right side of your waist. Keep it long as you bring your right hand down to your ankle or to your shin. Left arm goes straight up. Try to lift the chest. Look down at the floor. You might locate a block under your right hand. We're coming right into half moon pose. So you bend the right knee. Take your right hand floor, block, maybe it hovers. And then you lift the left leg. And do the same thing that we did in supported half moon. So you press that left leg up until you can feel the outer hip turn on. So that makes sure we're using the strength of the left leg to keep us steady. Right into chair pose. Left foot meets the right. Sink your hip, sweep your arms up. Let's take our hands to heart center. You're gonna lift the left heel and then come into warrior three, left leg goes back. You could keep your hands at heart center or take your hands on two blocks, highest height. As the left leg reaches back, the center of your chest reaches forward. So you're really long. Both arms might reach forwards. Take a breath in. Forward fold into standing split. So standing split, fold over the right leg, left leg lifts. When you're standing split, think of lifting the right hip up a little bit higher and squaring the left hip down a little bit. And then step the left toes all the way back, runner's lunge. High lunge, sweep the arms up. Take your right hand to your right hip. Big breath in, reach through the left fingertips. On your breath out, side bend. 
lean to the right, lift up and over the right hip. So don't just collapse into your right side. And then keep all the length on your left side. Lean forwards, cross your left elbow outside the right thigh. Press your palms together. And then lift your chest. Option to open the arms, left hand down, right arm up. Take an inhale. Exhale, turn all the way to the left. Forward fold, straddle forward fold. Right toes turn in. Relax your head as you fold forwards. Take a flat back, lift halfway on your inhale. Stay here on your exhale, but reach the arms out left and right. So push the backs of your hands up to the ceiling. And then hinging at the waist, you stand all the way up. Inhale, reach both arms up overhead. And exhale, fold all the way back down. Crawl your hands forwards inside the right foot. Wiggle the right foot out to the right. Tap the left knee down. You can take your left hand to the floor or it might even come to a block. Right hand goes inside the right thigh to start. Gently move the right thigh away from you. You can either stay just like this, or for twisted quad stretch, right hand goes back, grab the left foot. And slowly release the foot down. Right hand to the floor. Push into your hands, lift the left knee up, and then sweep the right leg up and back. Kick it back. Bend the knee, open the hip. And then keep the knee open. Start to shift forward, get your shoulders over your wrists. Like you're coming into side planks, spin the left heel down, step the right foot behind you, and then lift your hips, push them up towards the ceiling. Right arm over your ear, you might look at it. We're in a rock star or a wild thing. I think it's the same. Rock star, wild thing. And then come forwards, downward facing dog. You might take a chaturanga if you want it, or you skip it and you stay in downward dog. Left leg lifts, inhale. Bend the knee, open the hip. Knee to nose on your exhale. Just one time, and then shoot it up and back. You might keep the leg lifted as you shift forwards, and then to the right, right heel to the right side plank. Left arm lifts. Maybe you hover the left leg, maybe it steps down, maybe the right knee comes down for that supported side plank. Left arm over the ear, inhale. Take it slow, the left knee steps, left foot steps forwards. Catch your breath. Right arm lifts you up and open to warrior two. And then right into side angle, left elbow, left thigh, right arm over the ear. Leaning back, lifting up the right side of the chest, you might half bind the right arm. Release the bind if you've got it. Reverse it, straighten the left leg, lift up and out of the left hip. Keep the left side of your waist long. We're setting up triangle pose. You might heel the right toe, heel toe the right foot in. Left hand down to your shin or to your ankle. Right arm reaches up. And the right arm can drop some weight out of the left hand. So instead of thinking of dumping your weight into your left hand, you're in instead extending the spine forwards towards the front of your mat. Look down, half moon pose, bend into the left knee, left hand finds the floor or block, right leg slides forwards and then up. Flex the right foot, push it up, you'll feel the outer right hip. Engaging the full right leg, it'll help keep you a little bit more sturdy here. Keep lifting the chest. Chair pose, right foot meets the left. Slowly step forwards, bend the knees. Hands to heart center. 
Lift the right heel. We're coming into warrior three. So as you stretch the right leg back, you stretch the spine forwards. Leg back, spine forwards. Your hands might find your blocks. Maybe the hands reach forwards. Take a breath in. Standing split, fold over the left leg. Lift the outer hip up a little bit. Soften the neck. And then step the right toes all the way back. High lunge, sweep the arms up. Deep bend in the left knee. Left hand to your hip, take an inhale. Side bend to the left. And you'll keep this nice long side body stretch as you cross the right elbow outside the left thigh, turning it into a twist. Palms come together and you straighten the right leg. Option, if you wish to open the arms. Inhale, crawl your hands to your straddle. So all the way to the right, the left toes turn in as you straighten both legs. Lift halfway, inhale. Exhale, stretch the arms open left and right. So push the palms up towards the ceiling. You're feeling those upper back muscles engage as you bring the shoulder blades together. And then hinge at the waist, stand up. Arms reach up, palms together, breath in. Fold forwards, come all the way back down. Crawl your hands forwards. Flip up the right heel and tap the right knee down. Hands are inside the left foot. Right hand is on the floor on a block. We'll start with the left hand inside the left thigh. Just move it away from you, create some space. And you might reach the left hand back for the right foot, twisted quad stretch. One more inhale. And exhale, release it. Take your hand down to the floor, left hand down. Tuck the right toes, lift the right knee for a moment, and then sweep the left leg straight up and back. Bend the knee, open the hip. Keep the hip open, shift forwards, right shoulder over your wrist. Step the left foot behind you. It's like a side plank, but the left foot is behind you, and then you turn it into a back bend by pressing the hips forwards. Looking at the left arm over your ear. You slowly make your way back to down dog, maybe through a chaturanga. Maybe skipping that all together. All right, let's do all of that all over again. Right leg lifts. Bend the right knee, open the hip. Knee to nose, just one time, make it a good one. Push the ground away, lift the hips higher. Right leg up and back. Shift forwards, left shoulder over your wrist, and then side plank, open up. Left heel spins down, right arm rises. Maybe this time, option to add on by bending the right knee and grabbing the right heel. Once you've got it, you kick into it. Slowly release, right arm over your ear, right foot steps forwards, runner's lunge. Warrior two, left arm lifts you up and open. Side angle, right elbow to right thigh, left arm over your ear, maybe half bind, left arm behind the low back. Maybe the right hand slides down to the floor to a block. Maybe you find a full bind, wrapping the right arm behind the right leg, grabbing the, the other hand. And then instead of leaning towards the floor, you lift your chest, bringing the shoulder blades together. There is a bird of paradise here if you wish to come into it today. You're working on BOP, do your thing. Wall slowly release the bind, reverse it, right leg straightens. And triangle pose is where we'll meet. So the key again is not dumping all your weight into the right hand because that collapses this right side of your chest. Instead, think lift, uh, light in the right hand, reaching the left arm up, and then stretching the spine forwards, right side of your waist lengthens. 
We're down at the floor, half moon pose. Come forwards, right hand down, left leg lifts. Option to add on this round, you bend the left knee, you grab the left ankle, chapasana. Kicking into the hand, you lift the chest. Let the left shoulder open. Without slingshotting, you release, whoop, <laughs> release what you've got. When we come right into a chair pose, take it slowly, step the feet together. This time, hands together at the center of your chest, take a breath in, and twist to the right. So left elbow comes outside your right thigh. And you push into your hands. So you can lift the chest. This time, we'll slowly pop the left heel. Pull the left heel in, maybe you pause here for a moment, left heel in towards your butt. Maybe you slowly, like warrior three, twisted warrior three, left leg goes back, heart goes forward, and you pause here, left leg is in the air, twisted warrior three. Eventually we'll tap the left toes down and come into that twisted lunge. Maybe you slip the arms open, and then to, you turn to your straddle, right toes in, fold forwards. Pause here, just give the, the neck a chance to release as you drop your head down. Lift halfway, inhale. Stay here, but reach the arms up, press the palms up. And then hinge at the waist, stand all the way up. This time, heels come in, hands to heart center, goddess pose, you bend the knees. You might find a little bit of a movement here, a little bit of a sway or a bob. Take your hands to your thighs, fingertips face down. Breath in. Breath out, lower the right shoulder as you push the right thigh away. Lift through center, breath in. Lower the left shoulder, push that left thigh away. Come back to center on your inhale. Take your hands together, maybe you sit a little bit lower, scoop the tailbone beneath you. And then push into your legs, stand all the way up. And fold all the way forwards, turning your toes in. Crawl your hands to the top of the mat, inside the right foot, tap the left knee down. We'll do the same thing, optional twisted quad stretch. Right hand inside the right leg, maybe the right hand sweeps back. Grabs the left foot. This time, if you've got twisted quad stretch, we'll explore a couple of variations. So on your inhale, kick into the hand, let it open the right shoulder. And then exhale, pull the foot in and around to face the floor. Do that two more times. Kick into the hand, lift the right shoulder, breath in. And breath out, gently pull it in round. One more inhale. And exhale. If you've got the foot, release it. We'll all take our hands to the floor. Lizard lunge. So this round we've got a few breaths here in lizard lunge and you can set it up however you'd like to either keeping the left knee down, or you might tuck the left toes, lift the left knee. You could also stay on your hands, or if you want to get deeper or give your forearms, or excuse me, your, your wrists a break, you come onto your forearms. I might grab a block to place my forearms down. Use this as an opportunity to re-regulate your breath if it got short and quick and up in your throat. Try to get it a little bit deeper into the rib cage, into the back. Get it a little bit slower. So we take our hands back to the floor. If you've got a block, you'll set it aside. Tuck the left toes, lift the left knee if it's down. Push into your hands. Reach the right leg up and back. Take a breath in. Bend the knee, open the hip. And then you shift forwards like you're coming into side plank. Left shoulder over the left wrist. And then you step the right foot behind you. And you turn into a back bend by pressing the hips forwards, just like you did at the very beginning of class when you were seated. 
There's an option to come into wheel pose here. You'll step the right foot down. Left foot comes in line with the right. You kind of have to trust that it's where it's supposed to be. And then you keep leaning, leaning, leaning. You look at the floor. Right fingertips find the floor. Once the right fingertips touch the floor, you push that right hand down and you very quickly spin the left wrist around and then you're in a wheel pose. Eventually you find your way out the same way you came in, push into the left hand, turn the hips forwards, downward dog, unless you want a chaturanga. Got one more round like this. Left leg lifts, bend the knee, open the hip. Knee into your chest. Last time we do this, lift the hips higher. Send the left leg up and back. And then shift it forward, side plank. Last side plank, heels to the right. Left arm rises. Again, option to hover the left leg. Maybe you bend the left knee. By the way, you can also do this with the right knee down if you want to. You can bend the left knee. This side is way harder. Grab the left ankle, kick into it. Slowly release. Left arm reaches up and over, over left foot steps forwards. Catch your breath here. Grab a sip of my tea. Warrior two. Right arm spins you up and open. Do you guys remember all this from Tuesday? Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> she says with a smile. <laughs> left elbow, left thigh, side angle pose. Your variation, so you could take right arm over your ear, right hand behind the low back. I mean, you didn't have to come this morning. You could have stayed in bed. Lean the right shoulder back. Lots of options to take it further. Left hand could come to the floor to a block. You could find the full bind, wrapping the left arm behind and under the leg, grabbing your fingers. And then making sure when you have the bind, you're almost finding a back bend. VOP, Bird of Paradise, if you want it. Take your time if you're working on Bird of Paradise. The rest of us will release it, reverse it, straighten the left leg. And find a triangle pose. Look down at the floor. Half moon. Take it slow and steady. Don't just push yourself up. Bend, slowly bend into the left knee instead of, and instead of using momentum, use the strength. Slow and stable. Super strong in both legs, especially the right leg. Maybe the right knee bends and you grab the right ankle. And you kick into the hand, puffing up the chest. Then without slingshotting, you release. And we all find a chair pose. Last chair, I think. Yep. No? Maybe? Yeah. <laughs> Hands to heart center. Big breath in. Twist to the left. Sense of up dog in the chest. Lift the right heel. Take this slowly, too. You might be surprised at what you can do as you move slowly. Right heel comes in. And then you think of lengthening the whole body. So the right leg slowly goes back and the chest goes forwards. Right leg back, chest goes forwards, just like chaturanga. Eventually we find a twisted lunge, right toes tap down. Option to open the arms and turn into your straddle, left toes in as you crawl your hands to the right. Drop your head, give your, chance in, uh, give your neck a chance to release. And then lift halfway, push the arms out left and right, and then stand all the way up. Hands to heart center, goddess pose, heels in, toes out, bend the knees. Take your hands to your thighs, fingertips point down, take an inhale, 
Left shoulder dips, push the left thigh away. Come up to center, and then right shoulder. Come to center, take your hands together, sit a little bit lower, then you push into the legs to straighten, reach up, and fold forwards, bow forwards, and crawl your hands to lizard lunge. Flip up the right heel, you can keep the right knee up or tap it down. Set up however you'd like to. And I'm now remembering these variations that I meant to offer on the first side, but I forgot. So I'm going to offer them here. And if you wind up taking any of them um, on your own time, you can always come back onto the right side and, and try them out on the right side as well. So the options would be with the right knee up, you get the left shoulder a little bit more under the left knee. So really wedge it under there and then step the left hand outside the left foot. You could take a balance. So before you release the hands, you lift the hips higher and you squeeze the left knee in, and then you reach the left arm out to the left, right arm out to the right. This is why we've been doing this, as the heart reaches forward. So you could also take a bind, wrapping the hands behind the low back. There's also a BOP here too. You could spin the right heel down, come into your bound side angle. There's also an arm balance here, so the left hand will come back down. You shift forwards, come into the right toes, looking forward, send the left leg out to the left, bending the elbows. So again, if you want to do all that on the first side, my B for forgetting it, you can always do that either now or a little bit later. All right, we'll all come down into, bring your hands back down to the floor, lift the right leg. Very last thing, left leg goes up and back. Bend the knee, open the hip. Shift forwards, right shoulder over right wrist. Step the left foot behind you, rock star slash wild thing. You're actively pushing the hips up. And then you're turning, trying to get your belly button to face the ceiling. Maybe you step the left foot down, you bring the right heel back, and you try to find the floor with the left fingers. Once you can put the left hand down, you very quickly spin the right hand forwards. And we'll find our way back to down dog, coming out the same way you came in. And then a child's pose. Tap your knees, take a break, grab some water. Maybe hop into that lizard on the right side if you want it to even out. So again, coming back to that deeper breath. Trying to get the breath to expand the rib cage. So not just the upper chest, but deeper into the belly and the side of the ribs. And just noticing how immediately when you attempt to breathe that way, breathing deeper, wider and bigger, how, um, how your body changes, how immediately you feel more calm. And we'll come back to a downward dog. I've got one last really short sequence that we'll just do once on each side. Let's come to down dog. And then look forward, and you're going to get your feet outside your hands. So either hopping or stepping right into Malasana. Feet outside the hands. And then trying to let the, let the hips, um, prevent the hips from getting heavy by pushing into your feet. And then pushing the knees apart. 
And then push into your feet a little bit more. We'll stand all the way up, sweep the arms up. And hands come to heart center. You can step or hop the feet all the way together. And take a tree pose. Right foot comes inside the left thigh, above or below, anywhere above or below the knee. So you can either take a traditional tree, hands at heart center, maybe reaching the arms up, growing your tree, or got an optional side bend. So the right hand will lay on the right thigh. And then the left arm will reach up and you're making a C shape as you lean to the right. I know you can't see my left hand, but there it is, I'm leaning to the right. And come back to center, release the foot, hug the knee in, and then we're going to twist. So grab a hold of the outside of the knee with your left hand and reach the right arm out to the right. You might, if you want, grab the outside of the right foot, kicking into the hand, straightening that leg. Chair pose, step the right foot down, reach the arms up, and fold forwards. Take a standing split, float the left leg up and back. Take a breath in. And then breath out, bend the left knee, tuck the left knee behind the right knee. And then sit lower, lower, lower until you can bring the left shin down. So this is where we are. We are in a seated shape with the left knee is bent. We're sitting on the left knee and the right leg is wrapped over the left. And you could either stay right here where we are, where you are, or we will move it, turn it into Gomukhasana. So for Gomukhasana, you've got to wiggle this right foot more out to the left. And to do that, I really need to shift forwards to get my thighs to wrap closer together. And then I sit back. And the idea is, get it? The idea is the right knee is stacked almost on top of the left and the feet are ideally parallel. So I'm gonna pull this right foot back and wiggle the left foot forwards. The feet are on the same line. And ideally both hips are even on the floor. So because my hips are tight, this right hip likes to sneak up, but I'm gonna try and pull it back down. And you either stay right here where you are or two options, you could crawl your hands forwards and find a forward fold, letting the head hang. You could also take Gomukhasana in the arm. So you reach the left arm up and back, bending the elbow, hand behind the neck, and then take the right arm, wrap it up the low back and grab a hold of the fingers. Now I didn't tell you to get a strap, so if you're having trouble reaching the hands, just grab both hands um, on your shirt or your bra strap. Grab a hold of whatever it is that you're wearing. You can give it a little bit of a tug, and that can act as your having trouble there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that can act as your strap. And unless you're folding forwards, you're thinking of lifting in the chest. You'll slowly unwind the arms. You'll come up right to your seat. Plant your hands down, unwind the legs, and plant your feet down. Fingers, or hands under your shoulders, fingertips face the heels, reverse tabletop, push into your hands, lift the hips up. You might drop the head back. Big inhale, open your mouth. Hips come down, and you'll cross the ankles, you'll find your way back into down dog if you want to crow pose along the way. It's a good time to do that. And then Malasana once again. So feet outside the hands, either hopping or stepping. Trying to keep the spine long here, so not letting the weight sink down, but finding some buoyancy in the hips. 
push into the feet, stand all the way up, arms rise, and hands to heart center, hop or step the feet together, tree pose, left foot inside the right leg. I don't care where it goes as long as it's not directly on the kneecap. Maybe hands at heart center, maybe arms rise, or if you want the side bend, left hand to left thigh, just drape it over the leg, and then right arm reaches over the ear. And you're leaning into the left. Bring your hands back to heart center, release the foot, hug the knee in, and we're twisting to the left. Left hand goes back, Right hand grabs the outside of the knee or the outside of the foot and you straighten the leg, kicking into the hand. Our very final chair pose, left foot meets the right. Take a breath in as you bend the knee, sink the hips and fold forwards. Standing slit, right leg sweeps up and back. Keep the neck relaxed. Take a breath in. Tuck the right knee behind the left and then sit lower, lower, lower until this right shin comes down. The left leg is crossed over the right and you stay like this. Or you find Gomukhasana in the leg. So this left foot has to wiggle to the right more. Maybe shift the hips forwards. Get the, get the thighs really tight, really wrapped. It's almost like eagle legs. Then you want to see about getting both hips even on the floor and getting both feet parallel. You either stay upright or you could crawl your hands forwards, folding forwards. Or if you want more shoulder opening, the right arm will lift behind you, bend the elbow, right hand behind the neck, left elbow bends. You're either finding something to hold on to, so just grabbing wherever you can grab on the shirt or the bra. Maybe finding the fingers, if it happens naturally with not much drama. Slowly unwind the bind and the arms, come up right to your seat. You'll unwind the legs, set up the reverse tabletop, standing your feet, press your hands under your shoulders, lift the hips up. Inhaling, exhale. Hips come back down. Find your way back to down dog. Again, option for crow pose. Chaturanga, or you step right back. From your down dog, shift forwards, shoulders over your wrists, and then resist the floor lower onto your belly. Set your left hand under your left shoulder, and you'll take your right arm on the floor, half cactus the right arm. I'm going to sit up and show you what it should look like. Left hand under your left shoulder. Right arm is bent to 90 degrees. Make sure this right elbow isn't below the shoulder. It should be either in line with the shoulder, if not a little bit higher. And then you look to the left, gently push into your left hand, roll the left hip over the right. So we're stacking the hips, maybe even stepping the left foot behind you for a little bit deeper. Getting into pec minor here. It's one of the muscles that's often responsible for poor posture when it's tight. If you've been spending a lot of time sitting, hunched forwards, maybe at a not ergonomically optimized home desk, home office, roll back onto your belly. We'll take the second side. Right, arm, right hand under right shoulder. Left elbow bends halfway. 
Look to the right and stack the right hip over the left. If you tend to have pain in the neck or shoulders or tension headaches, the pecs are often also responsible for that. If they're really tight, they're causing you to round forwards. Um, using this stretch or even using a lacrosse ball or a tennis ball to roll out your pecs can make a world of difference in tension headaches, and I speak from experience. Come back onto your belly. And reach your hands towards the back of your mat. Interlace your fingers. Roll your shoulders up, back, down, away from the ears. And as you pull the clasp back, you reach the heart forwards. If you can't make this bind at the low back, just push the palms towards each other. Same thing. Stretching the chest forward, maybe you add the legs. Legs lift, but the body stays long. So toes reach back, front of the chest reaches forwards. One more inhale. Exhale, release it. Take your right cheek down, release the hands. One more, interlace the hands. The opposite thumb is on top. Shoulders roll up, back, down, away from the ears as the heart lifts and reaches forwards. Legs lift. Feel that back body engaged. So the upper back shoulder blades pull together. The hamstrings are working, the glutes are working. And then you bend the knees, pull the heels in. Slowly release the bind, grab the ankles. For bow pose, you kick into the hands. Inhale. And exhale, let it go. Left cheek comes down. Naked sway in the shins. One more time, straighten the legs. You can take locust pose again, find the bind at your low back. Or for a variation of bow pose, bend the knees, pull the heels in, and reach the hands back. Thumbs point up towards the ceiling, so you're externally rotating in the shoulders. You grab your ankles, so it's a little bit of a different stretch in the bow pose. One more inhale, and exhale, let it go. Come to downward dog, really quick, we're just gonna set up a half pigeon, so move yourself back, downward dog, and then right away, the right knee comes outside the right wrist. You know, it's towards the end of class, you're tired, but set this one up with care as well. So tuck the left toes, move the hips back. And just like we did in our warrior three, as the legs go back, the spine reaches forward. So you keep the sides of the waist long. The rib cage reaches forwards. Sides of the waist are long. If you are interested in the back bend here, you can move on with me. But if this feels like enough, stay right where you are. If you're curious about the back bend, you'll crawl your hands to the floor, lifting the chest up. And before you do anything, you have to engage the leg. So it's like pushing the floor away with this right leg. You're engaging the, the glutes, squeezing the hips together. And then you reach your arms up. And you think of lengthening the sides of your waist away from that left hip, reaching up, up, up with the hands. And just like camel pose, which we're not doing today, but most of you know it, just like camel, you lift your chest up. And the more you lift, the more you can go back. Eventually, one day, I can't do it, but you would bend the left knee, pull the heel in, and you'd find that left foot for king pigeon. Just 
just being mindful of the low back there. Eventually they'll come forwards and we'll all find our way back to down dog. Setting up the second side, doing whatever it is you like to do between sides before bringing the left knee outside the left wrist. Hugging the right toes to move the hips back. So getting the weight into the hips and out of that left knee. And then crawling the hands forward, thinking of lengthening in the sides of the waist, just like you would in your triangle pose. Soften your jaw. Sometimes I like to give myself a little jaw or forehead massage here. We've done this in my class a few times. If you remember, you take your fingers to the chin and you just gently, putting gentle pressure, you move the fingers outwards until you get to that meaty spot where the jaw is. And just let your head be heavy. So kind of let the weight of your body, um, <clears throat> the weight of your head, help you out here. You can do that a few times, coming back to the center of the chin and pushing the fingertips out. Just some gentle pressure from the fingers, opening up the jaw. And then maybe after you do that a few times, you'll do the same thing to the forehead. So starting at the center of the eyebrows and just gently Pushing your thumbs out, following just above the eyebrows until you get to the temples. Noticing where you might feel some tension, maybe lingering there. Again, dropping the weight of your head down. If you want the back bend, you'll crawl your hands back, propping yourself up. Push the floor away with that left leg. Squeeze the hips together so you're lifting and not dumping into the low back. And then you reach the arms straight up. And the more that you lift, so you're lifting up and out of the hips, there might be a little back bend. And it doesn't happen immediately. It happens kind of millimeter by millimeter. Eventually you come back. We'll all come back to down dog just to even out in the middle. When you tap your knees down, we'll come to a seat. So evening out some of the back bends with a forward fold. And then start with a soft bend in the knees. <laughs> You might even sit up on a block. If you tend to have tight hips, elevating the hips can help in your forward fold. Reach both arms up on your inhale. And exhale, fold forwards. Let your belly just drape over the thighs. Drop your head here. And then if it's interesting to go a little bit deeper, you might scoot the hips back a little bit. Maybe the ankles go forwards. But I'm always thinking of length in the spine, so sides of the waist long, heart goes forwards even as your head drops. Slowly come up right. One more final pose. Have a block ready. You'll scoot your hips forwards. So with knees bent, feet flat, reach your hands forwards, take an inhale. As you exhale, pull your belly button to your spine and we'll slowly lower. So engaging the core for five, four, three, two, one. Coming all the way down, hug your knees into your chest. 
And then plant your feet, lift up your hips, slide the block under your low back, right at the very bottom of your spine, so that the sacrum, and you'll extend your legs up to the ceiling for a supported inversion. And this is our last pose, so if there's something else that you want, feel free to honor that, whether it's a more active inversion like a shoulder stand or a headstand, or if it's something else entirely. You might close your eyes. And just start to surrender here. So surrendering to this pose, surrendering to where you are in this moment. Feeling of surrendering to the earth, getting heavier into the floor. Just letting it be. Whenever you feel ready, you'll return your feet to the floor. Set the block aside. If you do have tension in the low back, you might place one block or one pillow each under the knees as you send the legs forwards. You might grab a towel or a shirt or something to place over your eyes to block out the light. And roll your shoulders just underneath you a little bit. Lengthen the back of your neck. And again, back to that feeling of surrender. Just let it go, let everything all the stress and the tension start to melt out of the body as you give into your mat, you give into gravity. Take one last big inhale. And let it go. Shavasana.
Start to come back to a deeper breath. Bring both hands to rest somewhere on your body. Feet to the mat. And hug both knees in. And however you'd like to get there, you'll find your way to a seat. You'll try to keep your eyes closed or at least a gentle gaze towards the floor. Right back to where we began. And notice what if anything feels different from when you were last in this position at the start of class. Palms together at the center of your heart. And then lift your thumbs up to the center of your forehead. Yeah. And we'll send love and gratitude to each other as we bow forwards and say namaste. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys. Thanks for coming this morning. Um, reach out, say hello if you've got questions or thoughts. Um, hope you had fun. That was the first sequence I was able to use my brain to come up with.
since teaching in a studio. So that was my quarantine flow. Um, <laughs> well, that back bending and twisting is exactly what I needed. Hope you liked it too. Um, that's it. Have a great rest of your day. Rainy, snowy day. Thank you. Thank you, PJ. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.